Sappy Hour, you've given me a great amount of hope and direction in a time in my life when I've become so lost. I am so, so grateful. Alyssa, this is a beautiful gift that you just gave me. Thank you for that. And just so you know, we all feel lost. Even the people who seem like they got it all together, they're lost. They're just hiding it better. And when you're young like yourself, you may feel lost because the future is so daunting. And what road do I go down? And how do I even go down that road? And when you're my age, you may feel lost because you don't get to do it again. All those choices have already been made. And with that realization comes a certain amount of despair and sadness. And that's why the arts are so hugely important because you get to take what's inside of you and process it so you understand yourself and you better understand the world around you. And hopefully someone else sees your work and now they go, oh, I feel the same exact way too. And now they feel less lost. They don't feel lost alone. They feel lost together with someone. And this is so hugely important, especially now with you know social media turning good people against each other, with technology making us feel more isolated and the pandemic on top of that, making it worse. And then to add insult to injury, the world is melting. So yeah, we have a good reason, good reason to feel lost. And that's why the arts are so hugely important. Now, and if you think I'm just, you know, spouting cliches, Alyssa here is a stranger. She's just someone who started following me on social media. Then she came to see my one man show, a paper orchestra, a month and a half ago in Amesbury, Massachusetts. And that show is a self portrait. Only instead of a camera, I use a typewriter because I'm a writer. And so I perform two stories. In the beginning, the audience is all laughing. We're all laughing together because I talk about my fears and insecurities and that's funny and fun. But towards the end, there's a shift because I explore those same fears and shame and those dark emotions and, and the mistakes that we've all made. And now the audience is all, we're all crying together because they feel the same way. They know it, they know that feeling. And so now they feel, they don't feel lost alone. They feel lost together. And that's hugely, it's hugely helpful. And it's so powerful that Alyssa here is still feeling that connection with me a month and a half after seeing the show. And I feel the same connection with her because we experienced it together. So in 2023, if you are a writer, I encourage you to start writing more. And you're going to be bad in the beginning. You're supposed to be bad. One of the stories that I tell in a paper orchestra is called The House on Witherspoon Street. And I talk about how when I was a young, uh, how I was young, I wanted to be a writer, but I was terrible at it, just awful. And that's one of the, that's a really great story in the, in the book that I think everyone will connect with. And if you want to experience what Alyssa experienced with me a month and a half ago, uh, come see my show when I'm on the road. And for more information, you can go get that in my profile. So go there and I hope to, I hope to see you there. All right, thank you again, Alyssa.